Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to flash a ROM or a kernel or any sort of zip file modification that um, that you can think of or you find in the forums. Um, it's all the same process, there's just a little difference in between the processes. It's not really that hard. Okay, as long as you follow my instructions, you should be fine. Um, I'd like to thank, uh, thank Jersey Irock because he, his video is the video that I watched um, to learn how to uh, flash a ROM. Uh, yeah, how to flash a ROM and a kernel. They're actually simple. They're not really that complicated. Um, and there's just really nothing to it if you just have the knowledge and stuff. Okay, but I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Um, so as this thing sets up. The thing is lame as hell. I'm gonna delete it soon. Okay, first thing you wanna do before you even touch any ROM or anything like that, um, go to phone. Go to phone. It's pretty simple. Hit menu. Go to people. Once your people pop up, hit menu again. Go to import export. Uh, export to SD cards is the first thing you're gonna hit. Um, and then after we're done flashing the ROM or the kernel, well, actually, just the ROM. The kernel doesn't affect your phone. Uh, it just affects, like, the way it performs, like, how fast it is and stuff like that. But for the ROM, you'll need to do this. Okay. So after you export it to your SD card, once you um, get the ROM and install it and all that, um, you won't have any contacts. You have to go back and import it from your SD card. Pretty simple process. Okay. And now for backing up your um, applications, go to um, download, or if you don't have it, um, go to Titanium Backup. And the first thing that you are going to do, once it boots up, um, is to back up all of your back up all of your uh, applications. Go to Schedule and hit Run. Once it runs and gets to 100%, then you're okay to go to the recovery menu. But before you get to the recovery menu, you should... I'm not going to use the computer in this video, but um, you could use a computer. You know how to hook it up to your computer. Um, once you get the, um, the flashable zip file, known as the ROM or the kernel, depending on which one you're getting... Um, you just drag that to the root of your SD card once you find it. Um, I think there's a website over here. It's a. Uh, the website is called. Okay, let's see if you can read this. Comcast.net. Or I'll, I'll put it in the description, okay? I'll make it simple for you. Um, or there's XDA developers. Okay, I'm just going to go to XDA real quick and show you the fastest way to get um, a ROM and download it from your phone so you don't have to make it so difficult on yourself to get to a computer. Okay, I already have it in the favorites, so I'm going to go to Android Development, and I have it bookmarked. It's the very first one because this is like one of the most talked about one um, uh, talked about ROMs and there's a lot of support for it and things like that so once you get in there um, you go up to the top of the page you hit this to go to the very first post which is where he has all of his um, for the HTC Evo okay so it's gonna say download mins warm 2.2 RLS4, that's the latest one. Um, if the first link doesn't work, click the mirror one. Um, this is just the the um, ROM that I suggest because it's pretty fast and it's it has a nice look to it. You notice my black notification bar with all my little radios and uh, settings up there. That's a pretty cool. And then he has all these other flashable zip files that are compatible with his ROM and they just make it look way better like my launcher pro um, looks really nice the dock I put myself but this little modification right here the way um, and how you 
how it has the things written in words okay so we go back to it and then you just click on the green part of to download the things and then once you have them um, they'll go to your download folder if you're using your phone use Astro File Manager go to your download folder from your SD card it's not hard to find because right up here at the top um, you go to the SD card you find this download folder not downloads download because they're like right next to each other so once you find it um, it could take a while to find if you have as much stuff as I do but um, just continue to scroll down until you find it the zip files obviously look different than the rest of the files you see that's a zip file right there um, and it should be on there somewhere but when you get to the recovery menu it's actually easier to spot it so I, I think it'll be easier but once you downloaded your ROM or your or and your your kernel um, they'll be in your download folder but um, let's just pick a random file we have here because once we find it okay say we'll just pick this file we're gonna click on all right, we long hold on it you click edit and then you hit move and then you go back you hit the back button it takes you to the root of the SD card you know it's the root because it just says SD card then it has the paste option up there just click on the paste and you'll find it okay here's where I have my men's worm 2.2 and it says it right there um, pretty simple and then there's my kernels somewhere around okay um, there's the launcher pro theme right there vanilla lock screen um, font you can get different fonts that's why my font looks so much different than yours probably um, and there's different kernels you can get my knees are killing me okay once you get them on the root of your SD card whether you used your computer or you used your um, phone to do it which is way more convenient for me because I don't like going on the computer because my phone is my world okay um, then we're gonna go to the recovery menu I use quick boot it's just faster I guess you say you can either power it off first I'll power it off and show you how fast it shuts it off see okay and the volume down key you're gonna hold that and then press the power button and it boots to this screen then you go um, you wait for it because it's gonna say something real quick um, just says whatever whatever then you go down the, the second one says recovery it's hard to see because the brightness um, click uh, you click the power button to go to the recovery menu it, it, this looks familiar because it's probably like so, somewhat the same method is used to fl um, to uh, root your phone okay so if you had okay all the ROMs come with their own kernel but you can flash a different kernel if you want I'm just I'm gonna tell you how to flash I mean they're both flash the same but you do have to do some stuff before it. Okay, before you're gonna do any flashing, you have to wipe. Oh wait, no, before any of that, you have to do an Android backup. Okay, after you saved your contacts and your applications, you're gonna go down into where you see Nandroid. It's right there. Okay, you just click on it um, with the power, and you go to um, backup. You just click back up. It takes a while, so I'd suggest to have at least 70% battery, or at least you know you know you know how to gauge your amount of what you should have, because if it dies in the middle of the process, it could cause some errors. So I'd suggest having plenty of battery power. You make the backup, and then once the backup is done, you just use the go back thing right there and just get to the screen again. Okay if you're flashing a ROM you would want to um, wipe data factory reset that's the first thing you do um, and then the other two things are wipe cache partition and wipe um, go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache okay but um, if you're flashing the ROM 
uh, you flash all, th or you wipe all three, wipe uh, data factory reset, cache partition, so the third and fourth one. So we're just going to, um, since I'm just going to flash the, um, right now I'm just going to show you how to flash the, uh, the kernel. A kernel? Yeah, okay. I'm going to show you how to flash a kernel. And the ROM, it's the same thing except you also wipe data re, uh, reset, factory reset. Okay, so you're just going to wipe cache partition, go to yes, hit yes, it'll take a second, and it'll be done. Then go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. This one sometimes takes longer. Okay, it didn't for me because I just did this, tried to make the video shorter, but I couldn't. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, you wipe those two. Uh, the Dalvik cache and the cache partition, they're pretty simple. Um, but if you're flashing a ROM, uh, click wipe, da uh, wipe data reset. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just showing you how to, um, I'm just giving you a demonstration um, about how to flash the regular files. Or if you're flashing just something that's not a ROM and not, um, not a ROM and not a kernel, then you just the same two, cache partition and Dalvik cache. Okay. So since since we're done with that, then we go to let's see where's it install zip from SD card, and then we choose the second one choose zip from SD card, and then if you just click up, it takes you down to all where all your um, things would be. So um, if you're flashing the RAM, you would um, you would have wiped all three of those things, and you would click on min's uh, warm 2.2 but since I'm showing you um, the kernel we're gonna just go to King's kernel and then we're just gonna go to yes and we're gonna click yes and it'll take a second take a second and I, I really don't know how to edit these videos the way I want them to be like skip certain steps um, but I just wanted to show you everything so okay and then once it's done it'll say done right there and then install complete then you just go back hit the go back button and then you reboot system now okay while it's rebooting um it'll take longer to boot up the first time so don't get scared the only time you should be scared is if it takes like 10 minutes that's obviously too long then you have to pull the battery out, put it back in, and then reboot it again. So this could take it a while, like five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, depending on what goes down. I'm just going to show you how long it, it just might take you, um, just so that you'll have a more sense of security, um, so that you won't panic, like, most people, well, like when I had an iPod Touch, I would panic because I would, I just thought I would mess it up every single time. That's not true. So it'll stay on this screen for quite a while. Well, I say quite a while because for some, they're used to their phone booting up like a, a minute and a half, two minutes. Um, and after the first, okay, the first time it's going to go slow booting up and then um, each time it'll get faster and faster. Um, the, my usual boot time is around 28 seconds, and that's pretty good, because the stock one is like 3-4 minutes, seems like. For some reason you're wasting like half your battery power. <laughs> seems like uh, you're just wasting half your battery power just to boot up the device. And I didn't like that, so... Um, I like the fact that Min's Warm 2.2, it took me like 28 seconds to boot up um, after you boot up a couple times. Because when you wipe your factory reset and you wipe your Dalva cache and your cache partition, um, basically um, it has to go back and, you know, like uh, clean itself and you know what I'm talking about. 
So, uh, I'm just gonna wait for it to boot up. Uh, my camera's gonna die, so I just hope I can get to the end. If not, then, um, you have my word that it booted up. So, it should not take too long. And the screen will stay on. It won't even turn off until it's done booting up. It shouldn't. If you followed all the steps correctly, you should have no problems. If you have a problem, um, go to XDA Developers, um, get the application. It would be easier for you to reply. It's easier for me. I don't even like using the website, the computer website. Um, and that's about it. Um, damn, it's taking forever because I've been doing this for over 15 minutes. I was hoping that I can shorten it, but I'm not as fast as Jersey I Rock. <laughs> And I can't edit my video because Windows Movie Maker just doesn't like my camera or, or the files that my camera produces. So, if someone can help me out um, as far as how to edit the videos, I mean, I know how to put annotations and stuff like that, but I seriously need a program at least, or if I could do it from YouTube, you know. See, it'll just stay on the screen for a bit. But once it boots up, you should be fine. If you boot up and you don't like it, go back. To, um, give it like 24 hours. If it doesn't work good within 24 hours, try a different kernel. If you just, Flashing kernels is like nothing. Like what I'm showing you, that's nothing. Flashing a ROM is much more to recover because um, you won't have any applications you'll have to go to um, the market and download uh, titanium backup and get all your files back that way which is not that hard I thought it was hard but you can do them in batch like you can do all of them at once and it recovers them all at once it just takes like a few minutes the same amount of time that it took to back them up and the contacts are really fast to back back up because I had to go back, do an Android backup, because my contacts weren't there, and I had to figure out how to do it by myself. Okay, there it goes. I had the vanilla lock screen flashed also, so, um, so it looks different. But it should look like this, you know, you know it if it's done correctly. Oh, and you'll be on, uh, Sense, uh... But you can just get Launcher Pro if you don't like Sense. It's pretty, and there's also um, this thing called Nonsense. So it'll, uh, that's just my damn swipe. Okay, and that's about it. Um, I can give you guys, if you guys have any questions, just ask me. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys later, and I'll post this video shortly.